In this example, we'll factor binomials. In part A, we will factor 3x minus 12. The greatest common factor of 3 and 12 is 3. Rewrite 3x as 3 times x. Rewrite 12 as 3 times 4. Pull out the 3 from both terms. Collect what's remaining in a set of brackets. The answer is 3 times x minus 4. In part b, we'll factor minus 4x squared plus 24x. The greatest common factor of 4x squared and 24x is 4x. If the polynomial is arranged in descending powers of x and the leading coefficient is negative, also factor out the negative. Rewrite 4x squared as 4x times x. Rewrite 24x as 4x times 6. The next step will be to pull out minus 4x from both terms. But how do we do this? The 4x in the second term doesn't have a negative. To solve this problem, we'll swap out the plus for a minus and a minus. The second minus can be attached to the 4x in the second term. Now we can pull out minus 4x from both terms. Collect what's left in a set of brackets. The answer is minus 4x times x minus 6. Watch out for sign changes within the brackets. It's a good idea to multiply out the factored answer in your head to make sure you get back the original expression. Minus 4x times x is minus 4x squared, and minus 4x times minus 6 is 24x. This gives us back minus 4x squared plus 24x. In part c, we'll factor 15x to the 4 plus 60x squared. The greatest common factor of 15x to the 4 and 60x squared is 15x squared. We write 15x to the 4 as 15x squared times x squared. We write 60x to the 4 as 15x squared times 4. Pull out 15x squared from each term. Collect what's left in a set of brackets. The answer is 15x squared times x squared plus 4. In part d, we'll factor minus 12x cubed minus 27x. The greatest common factor for 12x cubed and 27x is 3x. Since the polynomial is in descending powers of x and the leading coefficient is negative, factor out a negative as well. Rewrite 12x cubed as 3x times 4x squared. Rewrite 27x as 3x times 9. If we rewrite the minus as a plus and a minus, we'll be able to attach the minus to the 3x in the second term. Pull out minus 3x from both terms.
Collect what's remaining in a set of brackets. The answer is minus 3x times 4x squared plus 9. Check the answer. Minus 3x times 4x squared is minus 12x cubed, and minus 3x times 9 is minus 27x. This gives back the original expression, minus 12x cubed minus 27x.